Uh, God bless you, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Hope everybody um had a, a awesome and a uh, blessed day. <clears throat> I want to share um actually I have a, a special treat. Um, I'm actually I'm going to share uh, my two dreams that I had Tuesday and early this morning, and I just found out my daughter had a dream um earlier last night or earlier this morning, and she's going to come in and share that in a few. Um, but the first dream I want to share with you guys is um. As uh, I was walking in a short dream, I was walking from the basketball court and as I was walking from the basketball court, uh, I looked into the sky and I saw like a drawing of Jesus. Um, it was kind of like how you see somebody do a drawing with a with a pencil. It was kind of like that, like this, uh, a professional sketching of Jesus. And um, it was Jesus in the clouds. And as I seen the drawing of Jesus, there was like a red out. There was a red outline like, um, you know, how like when you color, like when somebody does color with a colored pencil or with um a colored pencil or like um or a crayon, they do an outlining and then they shade in the rest of the picture. Well, that's how it was. It was actually it was a it was a red outline of the picture of Jesus. And as I began to look at the picture, not picture, but as I began to continue to stare into the sky, it was like the picture of Jesus. The picture of Jesus became more clearer the more I looked at it. Like the longer I looked at it, it was uh, at first the picture was kind of faded. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as I continued to look, the picture of Jesus became more clear and more clear and more clear and more clear. And <clears throat> excuse me, I, I believe uh for me, what I got from the dream is that that's a representation that Christ is Christ is coming very soon. Saints, very, very soon. Now, <clears throat> when I was as the, um, the picture of the drawing became clear to me, the picture was already clear. Like it was clear enough for me to see that it was Jesus in the sky. Like when you're having a dream and the spirit automatically automatically tell you from the get go that. This is Jesus in the sky. And that's what the spirit told me. This is Jesus in the sky. And the picture was clear enough for me. But I'm guessing in a dream, the picture wasn't all the way full, which I'm guessing a full picture means that Christ is here and he has gotten his bride. So, saints, I believe that we we are just seconds. We are moments away from um, Christ coming back and rapturing up his bride. Amen. Um, As far as the, the color red, um, because the red shading, uh, it's, it really caught my attention as well. And we know that, you know, the color red, uh, we know it as, you know, his blood, Christ shed his blood on the cross for our sins. But, um, I Googled what, um, the color red means. And, uh, mostly, um, red is known for you no know, passion or love, but, um, red is also known as fire. It's known as, um, <clears throat> anger. It's known as wrath, danger, and war. And then you know that we are on the verge of World War III. Um, so that could be one meaning. Um, second, as far as um, fire, we know that Christ, not Christ, Christ well, the Lord, excuse me, God, um, he promised, uh, he made a covenant that he would not flood the land. But uh, the next time he would destroy the earth with fire. And then we see um, danger, danger, you know, wrath, anger. Um, when a church is raptured up, uh, the Lord will unleash his wrath that he's been holding back for over 2000 years. And he's going to pour out his wrath upon the earth. So I believe that color red is rep representation for many things uh, that I just named that is about to come upon this earth at, at any time. Amen. Uh, second, um. I had a dream about Obama for the first time ever. Um, I've I've never had a dream about Obama. I've been saved uh, for like three years since 2015. I've been saved. Um, and I, as it started off in a dream, me and Obama were like riding in a, like a vehicle. I don't know if it was a truck or a car. I think it was like a truck or a jeep. But me and Obama were riding, and as I was, uh, I looked to my left, and I seen Obama just chilling. And it was kind of like how you're sitting in a car and you have your, you're sitting back, you're relaxed, you have your feet up on the seat and your arms crossed. But that's what Obama was basically doing. He didn't look angry or mad, but he was just kind of 
he was just kind of chilling. Like he didn't look too focused, but as he was just kind of staring straight, like whatever he was looking at, he was looking straight up ahead and he was just chilling with his arm crossed with his feet up as if he was waiting to get to his destination or whatever he was waiting for. Um, I remember Obama opened his mouth and said something, but that part of the dream was blurred out to me. Um, kind of like how you see in war movies when a, uh, somebody is um, a grenade goes off by their ears and everything is kind of foggy and blurry as far as like their hearing. They can't really hear because the hearing goes in and out. Well, I really couldn't hear what Obama was saying, but I know he was talking. But uh, as I looked to the left and I just seen as I looked to the left and seen Obama just sitting there, he was sitting there chilling like Obama was literally like he was waiting. Obama wasn't in a rush. He wasn't in a hurry. Obama was sitting there, guys, chilling like he was just waiting. He was waiting in this ride for him to get to his destination. He, uh, it's, it's just hard to under like how to understand it's hard like to describe like. He knows his time is coming soon when he's going to step onto the scene. So he's not in a rush. But like I said, he was just chilling, waiting like, you know what? I'm just going to relax, enjoy the ride. And eventually I'm going to get to my destination. But I'm in no worry. I'm going to sit back and just watch. And that's what he was doing. He was sitting back, chilling, just doing his own thing, just relaxing. Uh, So that dream clearly spoke out to me because. And this dream, the dream about Obama that I received, this is actually around the time when um, when Trump and Syria and this World War Three talk really begin to rev up. That's when I receive the dream. I'm recording. But that's when I received the dream around that time, um, not the first day, but the second day I received it, which was today's Wednesday. So I received it around. Two, three, maybe four in the morning around that time. It was early in the morning when I received the dream about Obama. So, like I said, that's my first time receiving that type of dream. I find it no coincidence. It's around the time of war. I believe Obama is soon to come back to step on the world scene uh, to be the leader. Um, This is what I got from the dream. Like I said, um, you have every right to take this to the Lord in prayer to see if this is true. Um, But, yeah. First dream, a drawing of Jesus coming in the clouds. So we know that I, I feel it, that Jesus is coming soon. Uh, second, I seen Obama for the first time since I've been saved. My first dream. And he looks like he's waiting and he's on his way. He's on his way to his destination to come back on. Amen. Now I'm, um, I'm about to go ahead and grab my daughter and uh, she's going to share her dream. This is something I've been praying for her. And the fact that she got this dream furthermore tells me that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Uh, so you guys just hold on and bear with me, okay? All right, Amelia, come on. Exactly how you told me. You're not live, so don't worry, but I'm recording. So it's just me and you. So tell them, say exactly the way you had it last night. Tell exactly to the recorder. Okay. Um, just talk. So pretty much I had this dream. It was like, so it was like I was in my room and my stepdad, Scooter, and my mom and this mean guy and Junior were in his room. So I was just looking out the window in my room, and I saw this um glittery stuff. So I um looked at the glittery stuff, and then I it like I ran into Junior room, and I said the rapture's happened. So pretty much they said no, it's not. So I said I looked out Junior's window, and uh, and then the glittery stuff was right out the window, pretty much knocking on it. It it was, but it wasn't that kind so and then like they looked out the window too and it let the lights turned off and then they turned back on and the um glittery stuff was like in the room the color was gold and then um pretty much it like all of us were like looking at it and then it went to our necks and went up our head and then um it's like we closed our eyes because it was pitch black 
and then when we opened our eyes, um, we were pretty much at heaven, so, and then, there was five of us, yeah, pretty much, and then, me, Scooter, and Junior, and Mommy could talk, but, but the mean guy couldn't talk, when, like, when we were in the house, he said that he didn't want to be at our house, and he had, like, tattoos on him, and he had a mean face, so, you said he was, uh, did he get left behind, or was he, like, was he in heaven? Like, he couldn't talk, so I think he was, like, left behind. Like, the spirit of him was there, but, like, he, his body and, like, half of his spirit was there. So, the spirit of Jesus was there, but he, but the Jesus looked like him, so, so I could be comforted. Because, um, I, I was, I was happy with that guy. Even if he didn't want to be at our house, um, I was being nice to him. And doing all that kind of stuff. And that's it? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're good. Appreciate you. All right, Saints. There you go. This is something that I've, I've been praying for. And she had this last night, Saints. My daughter had a rapture dream. My daughter had a rapture dream and she said, she said that we were up in heaven. We were in heaven, saints. Oh my God. Jesus Christ is coming soon, you guys. I don't, I don't know how much longer we have. We see all this war going on. We see all this crazy stuff going on. And my daughter says she's seen all of us. We, we, one minute we closed our eyes and then the next we were in heaven, like in the moment of a twinkle in an eye. We closed our eyes one minute and the next we were up in heaven. Saints, like we got, we got raptured away. Jesus Christ is coming. Je oh my goodness, I'm about to cry. Jesus Christ is coming, guys. Jesus Christ is coming. Christ is coming soon. I don't know when. I don't know what time. I don't know what date. I don't know what month. But Jesus Christ is coming soon. He just gave my daughter a dream out of the mouth of babes. Jesus Christ is coming, saints. That's, that's, you don't, there's no further explanation right there. Um, I'm going to just stop this video uh, before I start rambling because I'm just at all still at what she had. But yeah, saints, Jesus Christ is coming soon. He's coming to get his bride. This is confirmation. So saints, stay ready, stay prayed up, fast as much as you can, stay close to your word, and get ready, and get ready, because Jesus Christ is surely coming. He said in the book of Revelation, surely I come quickly. So even so, come quickly. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. May the Lord be with us all in these last and final moments. God bless you, saints.